All right, this is the uh, comb uh, raising kit from Bear Tooth Products. Uh, I've never heard of them. Uh, I bought this on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description below. Um, basically, the reason I found it online was I was looking for uh, a way to um, uh, carry with me extra rounds uh, for a rifle, and I wanted something that was not leather. A lot of people prefer the leather ones. I wanted something that was more weather resistant, uh, neoprene-ish like this. Um, definitely like the mossy oak camo pattern on it. Uh, it was about 30 something, 34, $36. Uh, the company has been out uh, for quite a while. Um, actually, when I un, uh, took it out of the box, I was shocked how long they've been around, but can't seem to locate it right now. Um, well, the, the whole point of these, um, beyond just being uh, storage, is that uh, you can gain uh, the proper eye alignment with your scope uh, or your sight. If you don't have a scope, obviously, most people do these days with, with uh, modern rifles. Um, it does improve, uh, you see here, the comfort, so the alignment, but also just the, um, it, it's a different feel um, and, and the fabric and then the height uh, I'll show you those in a, in a second. Really can can just have a more comfortable uh, shooting position. Um, it is multi adjustable. Adjustable. It does have a hole in the bottom right here for the swivel. So if you have a uh, swivel mount on the bottom uh, to uh, latch a some sort of a, a carrying strap, uh, it's already in there for you, um, and it's. Fairly easy to install, so um, I'm probably not going to have a, a straight up installation video, but um, what they do for you here is very, very well drawn out. So guns with scopes, um, or excuse me, without scopes, go to step two, with scope, then skip to step three. Uh, you can see here, without the scope, you can slide it on from the front, and then with the scope, obviously, it's going to block. Uh, you allowing for you to slide it. So you have to basically, they recommend you fold it, um, for lack of a better term, as you can see here. And then um, you can then put in your adjustable um, uh, height uh, foam pads there so that you just fold it back and you can slide it, you know, uh, in and then fold the uh, neoprene back on it. Um, and it, at the end, it should look like this. So the pads... They give you five pads. This is from smallest here to thickest here. You can add, it said multiple pads. So if, say you wanted to add these two and it was a little bit smaller than this one, for example, um, you know, depending on how thick the back of your, your rifle is on this area. So some have like a little hump like this one does. Some come straight off. Um, we'll definitely limit um, how high you can make this it doesn't stretch a lot, which actually I like a lot. It's very well made. It's very, the seams are extremely well done, but it doesn't move a lot. So again, depending on how your uh, rifle is made on this back end right here and how high it is, will be really be dependent on if you can fit in some of the thicker ones. So I recommend you kind of play around with it. Um, oh, here it is. They've been around since 1996. Um, Make it comfortable, uh, take your time. I think this is something, if you take your time and you make it um, your own and customize it, it can be really helpful for you. So hope that helps. Um, extremely well-made product. And uh, right now I haven't used it yet, but it's definitely something I would recommend right out of the box. So this is what it looks like installed. Um, it's just like the picture. Uh, I did not do a full installation video. Uh, all I can tell you is it's not easy. Make sure you follow the instructions. Don't try to put this on unless you have it flipped over. So this part, this neoprene part is, for lack of a better term, it's slippery compared to this inside rubber right here. You will not pull it on if you do not flip this over. The hardest part is getting this part over the butt. So you have to Again, flip it over. You start with the, the wide angle side. <clears throat> and then as it's pulling in this way, you've got to get this over the, the hump, basically, 
again, it's inside out. And then once you get this part all the way to the, to the front, then you basically peel it back like you would almost like a banana and you flip it over. That part's not that hard. Um, again, the hardest part I think is uh, step five in there where you've got to get this over and then all the way up towards the pistol grip. And then again, you slide it back on. So it fits really snug. Um, the uh, swivel hole is in the perfect spot. Um, I chose right now not to put any pads in just because I typically don't shoot this with one and it's very comfortable without it. Um, again, if you have it folded back like this, you're not going to be able to shove the pad in. You're going to have to take it and refold it back basically uh, more than halfway, three quarters of the way really, to then shove that um, riser pad in there and then fold it back again. So hope that helps.